I feel that the Never Say community, it has embraced me so nicely. It's, it has involved me so much. My intention was to spend two, three weeks here and help them as much as I could and go back to my life in the city. But then there's something special about it. Never Say Never in general is a very special place. And it holds the magic that, uh, you know, it's very fulfilling for me this, the time spent here. It's my greatest pleasure to be able to, to use most of our ingredients locally. My goal is really to use, at some point, only local products. I think this summer we'll be going, growing a garden. It's farm to table, you know, the food shouldn't travel that much. Oxtail, that is my Brazilian roots. And uh, it's very pleasant food. Lately become kind of a, a sophisticated kind of dish, but really is peasant food. I have to be honest about the food. I cannot serve a food that I don't like it. I taste ever more so of everything. I understand when people, they want things that they, they grew up on. They, it's an element of nostalgia. I totally understand that. So the thing that I can do is like, okay, give me a chance to introduce you to something new. If you don't like it, we will try your way. One of the things that are very, became very popular was the pasta making classes. It really is a way of giving back to the Never Sick community. The time we spend here is time getting to know each other, is, you know, getting people out of their houses in the cold nights of winter. When you see that you can do things in a certain way, that you can bring good food to a place that didn't expect good food, and you, you have this kind of response from the community, that it's very rewarding. So far we are attending the local community, but we know that people will travel for good food, and that's our goal. You're gonna put Never Sink on the map.